Hello everyone. In this video we are going to dive into particles and particle systems in Frame and the particle editor, which is going to let you create your own really cool particle systems. So let's dive in. Uh, you can get started just by adding a uh, particles to your frame. You can do this in the, uh, the quick toolbar at the bottom or you can do it from the sidebar in the add to this frame drop down where you've got tons of stuff, more all the time. We'll see one for add particle. I'm going to use the uh, little mini menu, just find it a little faster, and boom. So particles show up uh, right away, but a few things to keep in mind. First, if you're in edit mode, you will see this little shape at the center of the particle system. That's called an emitter. It's where the particles shoot out from, sort of. It's where they emit from. Now, if you turn off edit mode with the uh, however you'd like, I use this quick button or the U hotkey, when you turn it off, the emitter disappears and you just see the particles. Because the emitter, you don't really need to see all the time. The, the big highlight of the show is the particles themselves. Now, if you want to move these particles around, turn on edit mode and just move the emitter and the particles will come along for the ride. Now this is great, but let's say you want to get creative and design your own particle system. This is where the real magic happens and I want to show you how to do it. So with edit mode on, click your emitter and you'll and if I click on it in edit mode and click open particle editor, You'll see the editor will always open to this kind of smoky effect particle system, which is very cool, but it's not this current system. So the when you open the particle editor, it just always opens to this one. It's not going to open always to the particle system you have selected. To bring this system into the editor, it's easy enough. Just copy and paste this snippet ID, it's this ID in between the parentheses, and then paste it into the snippet uh, it's called load from snippet server down here in the particle editor. I'm going to click load from snippet server and just paste in my ID. Now it doesn't show up in the beginning because it doesn't have an emitter, something that the particles shoot out of. Here in frame it does. It's this gray sphere. But no worries, we can just go down to the emitter dropdown and pick emitter and that will give it one inside the editor as well. Now you can see we've got our system, same system in frame and the particle editor. And this is great. But you want to get creative, you want to edit this particle system, and that's what I'm here to help you with. So there's a lot of stuff in this particle editor. I don't have time or the expertise, honestly. I don't know all of these things uh, to go through all of them. We're just going to pick a few. I'm going to make a bunch of edits. I'm going to make a custom system for you, and then we'll bring that back into frame. So let's dive in. The first thing I'd like to do is change the radius so that it just expands over a bigger field. I'm going to make it 10. It's just going to make it a lot bigger. And I'm going to make it, I'm going to change its rate from 60 to 100. Okay, and I'm going to make it a little faster. The emit power from 2, I'm going to take up to 20. You can see things just started moving a little faster. Right? And uh, I'm going to keep on changing a few things. The scale of the particles, they look a little tiny. I want to so I'm going to scale them up across the X and the Y axis. Okay. Now they're much bigger. Look at those big sparkles there. Awesome. I want to get uh, a little more colorful, so I'm going to find a nice sort of pink purple, get that in the mix, and do a little gradient action, and then for another color, I'm going to find a nice sort of yellowish uh, kind of vibe that will come in the mix as well. That just looks spectacular. Okay, now um, I'm also going to make them last a little bit longer before they fade out. So I'm going to say four. The max lifetime is eight. This is kind of the rate at which they come in and disappear. Okay. So I've changed a bunch of stuff. I've made a very different system, I'd say. And it's a lot different from our original system for sure. But that's fine. What we want to do though is bring this new one, this new gorgeous upgraded system, back into frame. So the way you do it, it's similar to the way you brought it in. We're going to go back up in the editor. Instead of load from snippet server, we're going to do save to. This is we made a new system and we've got to save it. 
So I'm going to save it. A little pop-up will show up. It says it's been saved. It's got a new ID. And it says it's been copied to the clipboard. I find it doesn't always copy to the clipboard. So just be safe once you've saved it. Go ahead and copy the ID right from here, the snippet ID, and then bring that back into frame, into the edit menu. You're going to paste it right here and then click off of it and it will save. And look, now we've got uh, the new particle system showing up inside of frame. And look how big it is. This is because I've set the radius to be so high. Um, very cool. So a few caveats. Well, first of all, now to close the editor, you can just click on this button here, close particle editor. Okay. Now a few caveats. So particle systems can be a little bit taxing on your machine. So if you have really complicated big particle systems, you want to keep an eye on the stability of your frame. It might make it slower on mobile devices uh, or even in VR, depending on the headset you're using. So I'd say don't go overboard on these systems. Don't add, you know, a whole bunch of them, especially if they're a little bit complicated and intense, like this one is, is it's a pretty sophisticated, big uh, system. But, you know, um, experiment with it, uh, see how it goes. Uh, but there you have it. If you want to see a lot of this learning in a blog post instead of a video, there's also a link to a little helpful blog post here that goes through a lot of these steps, but really looking forward to seeing what you create. You can make lots of magic with these systems, and I'm excited to see what you do with this in your frames. All right, good luck.